it's just hardly, it's almost unbelievable that we got out of here un, unharmed. Unbelievable in Chilton County, an area hit hard by Zeta overnight. The storm knocking out the 911 lines, forcing calls to be rerouted to Shelby County. CBS 42 news reporter Malik Rankin is live in Clanton tonight at one home and with one home owner who had a rough ride last night, Malik. That's right, Jack. The homeowners tell me this tree is about a century old, and now a big chunk of it sits in their kitchen. Randy Rocket has called this place home for 75 years, and now he's just hoping he can save it. You can't help but be emotional. I mean, just look. Everywhere you look in here is destroyed. Randy Rocket has called this place home since he was two. He said he was keeping an eye on their large oak tree and watched it come crashing down into the kitchen. It is sentimental. This is home. You never want to see your home destroyed like this. You know, home is home. Chilton County's 911 line is back up and running, but large portions of the area are still without power. Hopefully, they're able to get some crews in pretty soon and get power back. I would, you know, I'd at least prepare for 48 hours if I was a citizen without power. No serious injuries were reported in Chilton County, not even with an oak tree in your kitchen. Rocket says God brought them through the storm and God will get them through the recovery. There's no doubt that we are highly blessed. We're blessed that, that we came out unharmed, uh, that the house was not hurt any worse than it was, and that we live to tomorrow. Randy and Judy Rocket will be staying at a family member's house about a mile down the road. And some other family that came into town to help them with the recovery, they just told me there's no hotels open anywhere near here. So they'll actually be roughing it in this house tonight. Live in Clanton, I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.